What's up, guys? Today we're talking about the people think I'm on Adderall. I'm like, hey guys, what's up in today's video? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Just she gets it going. <laughs> Freaking love detailing. All right, here we go. What's up, guys? In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Flex XCE 18.0 EC. <laughs> I can't even say it. That right. <laughs> Guys, if you get any value out of this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so every time I make a video, it will pop up. And like always, this machine will be in the description down below. If you decide that you need this machine, you can go down there, click it, purchase it, and I appreciate you guys for that. We are going to be reviewing the Flex Battery Powered Force Rotation Machine. So this machine has been out for quite a little bit now, and honestly, I was very hesitant to buy it. Um, I went ahead and got it probably about maybe three or four months ago now and I've been trying it on a few boats here and there. Honestly, my first impressions of this, I was not very impressed, okay? Now, I say that because I used it on an all day application and that's gonna bring my first point for this. I personally would not use this machine as my primary machine, my primary polishing machine. Not saying that it can't, so if you can only afford one machine, then this may be a decent option for you, but it would not be my personal go-to machine for an all-day application. Now, the only reason for that is, is you have about, roughly about 15 minutes to about 20 minutes of full power out of this machine. Now, the battery will typically last, this is an 18 volt battery. Now, the battery will typically last about 45 minutes on average of working time, but I have noticed come around that 15 to 20 minute long mark, the battery does start to die and it tapers off in power. So that is one reason why I don't like it for an all day application, is because you're only really gonna get about 15 minutes of full power and then it does start to actually die down. So now your level six speed really is more like your level four speed starting out. So that's one thing that I really don't love about the machine as an all day use. Now you can do it because when you buy this machine from us, it does come with a battery charger and it also comes with the second battery. So you get two batteries and the charger in it. Now the cool thing about this machine is when it does run out of power, the other battery is ready to go. It typically takes about 30 to 45 minutes for the battery to charge. So what you can do if you are using it on an all day application is that you would use the battery till it dies and then by that one's dead, the other one's ready to go. So you just keep switching, get a drink of water, keep switching batteries, keep going. Now let's go ahead and hop into why I think this machine is a game changer if you can afford it. On this particular boat, this is a 2021 Yellowfin 36 foot center console that we are ceramic coating with Stark Yacht Care Liquid Thor. Now, before we do the Stark Yacht Care Liquid Thor, like a lot of you guys have seen in my other videos, we have to do the Triple P Primer Polish. This is basically a priming agent to get the gel coat ready for the ceramic. Now, when you're doing the top side of a boat like we are doing right now, the boat is perfectly clean, it's perfectly washed, and it's time for the ceramic coating application. That is when this machine, the XCE8, comes in absolutely perfect. Now, one of the biggest, biggest, biggest reasons why I love this machine is for ceramic coating or polishing or even waxing the top sides of boats after you've washed them because it eliminates cords. It will eliminate all of your extension cords from rubbing on the gunnels of the boat, the rub rails of the boat. It stops extension cords from being all on the floor back here. It literally cuts out all that. So it's gonna alleviate the, the hassle of running a, a cord through a boat, one, making it dirty, and two, taking a chance on it scratching the boat again. Other than the cords, okay, so on a very practical level, if you are a detailer or if you detailed boats of any time, you have had a cord rub right here on the rub rail and it will scratch it. I don't care who you are. Now, there are tricks. You can wrap towels around it, wrap it in tape. But guys, that is all unnecessary steps that you're doing when you could just buy this machine and go to town and not have the hassle of extension cords scratching your boat or getting your boat dirty ever again. If you are wondering, this machine does come with a five inch backing plate already attached to it. It does come with an Allen key wrench so you can remove it. 
Guys, I actually would not recommend running a six inch pad on this because it can torque down the battery. We did run some six inch pads on this machine just to try it and I did uh, feel like it didn't run as smooth and as fast and it also kind of wore the battery down a little faster in my opinion. I would typically only run a five inch pad on this machine. So if you're wondering, you know, what pads to buy with this, I would typically just stick with the Force Rotation Lake Country foam pads or the CCS pads that are all five inch. As far as how comfortable this machine is to run and the weight, it's really not too bad. It is not a very, very light machine. Uh, it does feel really, really solid in my hand. I don't feel like I can break it. Um, it's balanced really, really well. I will say it is a little back heavy because it does have this massive battery on it. But when you have two hands on this machine and you're polishing with it, it really feels amazing in your hand. Now guys, this is a flex machine. So the spin on the machine is counterclockwise, okay? So if you're used to a DA polisher or even like a Rupes uh, Bigfoot or a Rupes Milli of some sort, it's all gonna be spinning clockwise. The machine spins clockwise. This machine will spin counterclockwise. So it is a little bit of a learning curve if you're not used to flex machines, but I honestly think you will really like it. This machine does work even better for left-handed polisher. So if you are a left-handed writer or polisher, you will like this machine. If you're right-handed, then it may be a little bit more of a learning curve. I am right-handed person, but I love this machine and I can work it with, with literally no issues. I am planning on making a review video on the Flex Rotary battery powered as well, if you guys are interested in that. So overall, would I recommend this machine to a new detailer or even a boat owner? And the answer is yes, I would. Now, the only reason why I'm actually saying that is if you could afford only one polisher, this machine might be it, only because it is so versatile. You can use it all day, and it's also really good for doing the top sides of your boat, like we've already established. Um, if you're working on a big sport fisher, well now you don't have to have extension cords wrapped around your waist and falling into the water. You just have a battery powered machine and you just go to work. Guys, that's it for today's video. If you got any value out of this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so every time I make a video, it will pop up. And I will see you guys on my next video. Let's go.